So it is vlogmas day number 27 and for today's video I wanted to share quickly about the cameras that I use for vlogging and for YouTube and I have wanted to do a series for a while called um, How I YouTube or something to that effect and I just haven't taken the time to do it partly because I'm just busy with life but also because I am not a professional and I totally fly by the seat of my pants and just kind of throw things together and make things work and um, a lot of times there's no rhyme or reason to it so I don't ever want to put something out there like that where I feel like I'm putting myself up on a pedestal like you guys should do what I do if you want to vlog. This is simply just to share what I do. It's not meant to be a tutorial. I do not mean you to follow uh, in my footsteps necessarily. Just letting you know what I do. So first off, the primary camera that I have been using for vlogging is on my phone. I have a Google Pixel XL and I've had that for maybe six months to a year now. I totally forget how, how long I've had it. Um, I had another Google phone before that that had a pretty decent camera and I use that a lot as well. So like when I'm doing my grocery haul videos, anytime pretty much that I'm out in public, I'm using my uh, phone camera, which is a lot less awkward than hauling around some big camera and trying to film things uh, in public. That gets a little weird. So having the camera on the phone is really nice and I will continue to use my phone camera for the foreseeable future because of that reason. And then um, the other camera, the second camera that I have and use is one that uh, my husband and I got last Christmas time. I had some YouTube money saved up and I had wanted to buy a nice camera, so we did a bunch of research and found one that was really, really nice. It is a Canon EOS 80D and it is a monster. It's huge, it came with this lens. I would like to get a smaller lens because this thing is massive. Um, and I have been using this for some videos, um, especially stuff at home. If I'm doing like a um, unboxing of Instant Pot or whatever, um, I will use this. It works the best if I just set it up on a tripod and let it go. It's so heavy and huge that it's hard to do a lot with. Um, I can't do any kind of <laughs> vlogging where I'm taking a picture of myself because my arms would fall off because it's so heavy. Um, so it's not good for carrying around anywhere. Um, definitely not going to take this to the grocery store to do a grocery haul video, but it is a super nice camera and I get excellent video, um, excellent, excellent sound quality and all that from this camera. So after we got this at Christmas time and I used it, I've used it for several months now, um, I decided that I really would like something a little smaller, something that gives me as good video as on my phone, but not having to use my phone quite so much. Um, my phone doesn't have a ton of memory and so it would fill up really fast and then it would make my phone go slow. It wasn't super reliable to use my phone all the time, so I wanted something that was really portable like my phone, uh, but not actually my phone, something separate from my phone, especially something that I could put an SD card in so I didn't have to take things off the phone so quickly because uh, I'd fill it up and then I'd still need to be filming more videos so I'd have to go to my computer, get everything off of my phone, and then start again. So having something with a larger memory capacity and um, the ability to put in multiple SD cards when I need to switch them out or whatever uh, is what I wanted. So I did a little research and found out about Canon's new vlogging camera that um, just came out on August 20th and I decided to go for it. So I ordered it the day before it um, was released, so August 19th, and I just got it a few days ago and I've been playing with it, but this is what it looks like. It is the, um, what's the name of it again? The Canon SX740HS, and I got the black version. There was a silver version as well that looked really cool, but I opted for black. And this is a great vlogging camera because the screen flips up like this, so you can easily do like selfie type video and photos. So it's great for vlogging on the go. And it's super compact and lightweight, um, and it still gives great video and audio quality. I love that. And I am totally not a camera person, so this is not going to be a super detailed review. I can't compare it to other uh, cameras. I'm just letting you know what I'm using. And like, if you watch my videos, you'll be able to see what kind of 
video I get from this kind of camera. Right now I am filming on my phone because I wanted to show you the cameras in the video, but I have a feeling that this camera is gonna become my regular daily camera that I use most of the time. I ordered some tripod, a tripod and like um, a selfie stick type thing so that hopefully I'll be able to use it in all kinds of various ways. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be a great, a great multi-use throw in your pocket camera. The other nice thing about it was it wasn't crazy expensive. It, the price right now is $399.99, which is a decent price for a camera, but it gives such good quality video that I think it's a really good deal. And then, but it's not so crazy expensive like this other one that we got. I just feel like I don't want to take it anywhere and I don't want to do anything with it because it's so expensive. I don't want to break it, um, especially with kids. It's like I don't want to take it anywhere when I'm dealing with kids at the same time. Uh, it's just way too much liability. So having something little like this and something that's not too crazy expensive that if I had to replace it you know, in a year or something, it wouldn't be that big of a deal is what I was looking for. That is what I have. Those are the three cameras that I use. Um, currently, over the years, it's been different things. We had a Sony action cam, uh, we actually still do, and I used it for a while, but it was totally not a good <laughs> vlogging camera. It was like the fisheye lens and it wasn't good quality at all. But funny enough, a lot of the videos that I made back then, like Instant Pot videos, have become my most popular videos on my YouTube channel. So everyone, I still get lots and lots of views on those old videos that are really poorly done, really poor quality camera, really poor quality editing job and editing software. And I still get critiqued on them. Um, it's really funny. Uh, people will critique my editing ability and my uh, camera choice and different things. And it's just like, well, I made that several years ago and I, wasn't really a vlogger back then. It was just something I threw together for fun. And um, anyways, it's funny. Being on YouTube is really funny. It's kind of because people can look at my old videos and when you watch a video, you assume that the person in the video is still the same as they are today. And so I'll get, I'll get critiqued on how I was several years ago when I've totally changed. And I guess that's just life on YouTube and filming yourself. So anyways, that's all. Um, so that's it for my video. Let's see, vlog is day number 27. We are coming up on the end here. I hope you found that interesting. If you have a camera that you love, uh, let me know in the comments what it is. I'd love to hear about it. That's it for me today. I will talk to you again real soon.